Team Rippers, let's get ready to make a bag. Side of swag. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasaya, this is Saya Swag. I was able to finally make a bag that I have wanted to make probably for over a year now and everybody's always asking for it and it's always been on my list. So yay, I finally did it. Okay, so we made the Kaylee Crossbody today by KM Designs and it is such a cute bag. I love it. Um, this is the one I made to practice and it just turned out so cute. I love this so much. And this is the one we make in the video today. For both of these, I used um, all vinyl outside, all vinyl material on the outside. So I only interface certain pieces, like my top panel pieces and my front pocket piece. And then I used woven for the rest of the bags. Um, I'll show you each one real quick. So the only thing that's gonna be different on today's tutorial is this envelope bottom here that the bag calls for. I, for some reason, my front panel was way longer than my back panel. Well, not way longer, like three fourths of an inch longer. And so it made it kind of impossible to do this envelope bottom. So instead, I just did kind of a boxed bottom there. So it works both ways. So if you don't really understand the envelope method, I really wanted to show you, but unfortunately, it happens. It happens, guys. <laughs> okay, so anyways, that's what the corners are supposed to look like. And it is very cool and a cool little um, technique. So if you want to see how it's made, she does have fabulous videos that are attached in this pattern. And she shows you in a video how to do these. So go check her videos out if you want to know how to do this certain bottom of this bag. All right, so one of the features I love about this bag is the front pocket. It is a bunch of card slots. All of these are card slots. It's hard to see with my black fabric, but a bunch of card slots. Love that so much. And then there's another front pocket, big zipper pocket on the front. Turn it around, another slip pocket back here. Lots of pockets on this tiny little crossbody. And then inside, even more. Another zipper pocket, another divided slip pocket, and another divided slip pocket on the other side. It packs a big punch, this bag. I really do love it. Um, let's see, this vinyl is from, oh gosh, where is this vinyl from? I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm not sure about this vinyl. I think it's Twisted Ember. I think this is Twisted Ember uh, Star Wars vinyl. Look how cute that is. It's got a little Chewbacca hidden in there. A little BB-8, so cute. Um, <laughs> all right, the bag we do today, here it is. This is my Indo Love Creation faux leather that I absolutely love. This is some vinyl from JJ's Custom Fabrics that I just got of Schitt's Creek, so cool. All right, so that's the design of this bag. We have the card slots in the front. So many card slots, I love, 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 love. And they're nice and sturdy too, I really love that. And then your front zipper pocket. And then inside the bag, ooh, so pretty. All of those pockets. My inside fabric is from Hawthorne Threads. Um, I use Decaville Light and a woven interfacing for these. I don't know what else. I think this can be done by a beginner, but I would say have a little bit of practice under your belt. Um, the front pocket on this bag reminds me a lot of the H2O to go by Lynn's Handmade, the way she does her front pocket. So if you've done that bag, then you will have an idea of how to do this um, curved zipper pocket. I'm just trying to put it on so you guys can see how big it is. It's kind of smaller, small-ish. Okay, I love it. It is such a cool design, lots of fun features on it. Give it a try, watch the video, see what you think. The pattern will be linked down below in the description along with all the supplies I use where you can find everything. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it. One more thing, um, 
I do have bruising on my arms and my hand, so just don't be alarmed. Um, I had IVs put in a couple days ago and they're just not, they're not looking good. So I'm not injured. Don't be alarmed. I'm bruised, but I'm fine. Okay, let's start making this bag. Okay, let's go over all the pieces I have cut out for this Kaylee crossbody. I'm pretty much sticking to the pattern directions. I'm not changing much up, so it should be pretty easy to follow with the pattern in my tutorial. Um, I'll have my crossbody strap here. I'm doing a three fourths inch total uh, crossbody strap, so I cut mine to the width of three inches by the length of the vinyl, which is about 54. I've already folded my raw edges into the center and then I'll fold it again and sew that up. I have all my zippers prepped, so you should have four zippers total. Um, your top closure, your front pocket, your other front pocket, there's two front zipper pockets, the one with the card slots and just a regular one, and then your inside zipper pocket. My exterior pieces, sorry, let me get these out. So here is my front exterior um, top part of the pocket piece cut out. And here is the front part of my pocket. I have already put the Decaville light on. Um, I did that on my first one and it was fine to turn through. I wasn't uh, having any issues with that. But if you want to wait and insert it after you have sewn this part on to your front pocket, you can do that as well. So that part's up to you. Um, so this is the back of my crossbody exterior. I have two front top pieces, okay? And I have one back top piece. And I have the pattern pieces with those because it has the markings for the magnetic snaps. I have my card slot piece all cut out and I also have already put on my Decaville light where all my folds are gonna be and I'll kind of show you that and we'll iron that and get those all set. Um, my exterior zipper pocket piece lining and then this will be, I haven't done it fully, but this will be the top part of my card slots. Um, I've done it halfway so I can kind of show you exactly how to do that. Um, We'll go over that. And then I have my crossbody strap connector pieces. I have my inside slip pocket trim. And then my two lining pieces. I have just interfaced all of my cotton pieces with a woven and my top panels with Decaville light. Should have said that. Um, and then I have all of my pocket pieces. Sorry, turn off my computer. I've got four of this front zipper pocket lining because it is a slip pocket lining as well. So you should have four pieces for that. And then you should have four cut out for the interior zip pocket and the interior slip pockets. Okay. So four of those. And your hardware is crossbody strap hardware. So hooks, D-rings, a slider, some rivets, and zipper pulls. I think that's it. Um, let's start making this cute bag. We're going to start with some prep work here. I'm going to assemble my cross body strap and get that out of the way. Again, I have already folded my raw edges in, and then I'm going to fold that again and sew that down both sides, and I will put my cross body strap hardware onto that. Okay, there's my cross body strap. I will go back through and put a rivet on each um, fold just to give it a little extra security and we'll put that aside. And we're going to work on our zippers next. So I have my 
um, front pocket zipper closure here and it needs these tabs on them. I only do the exterior tab. If you wanna do an interior tab as well, you can. I just don't do it because it adds an extra layer of thickness and you can't really see inside your bag down there. It's not really visible, so I don't do it. All right, so we're gonna sew this on at a fourth inch seam allowance on both sides and then we'll fold it over and top stitch. Okay, so there is my main zipper closure, not my main, sorry, my front main pocket closure. And then I have the pocket, zipper pocket above that one that has zipper tabs. Again, I'm just doing the exterior on each of them. You can do both if you would like, it's up to you. Same thing. You can trim down, like the zipper tab is a little bit wider than my zipper, so you can just trim it down. It needs to be even with your zipper. It's not always perfect, and that's okay. Okay, let's trim those down, and then we want to do our main closure zipper. So this is my main closure zipper. And I just want to do that 90 degree turn on it. So I'm just measuring down about three fourths of an inch and putting a mark on my zipper tape that I can see. And I'm going to open that up and fold it, pinch it at that line and fold it down. So you have this turned zipper like that. And I'm going to baste each side down and then we'll be done prepping our zippers. All right, and then I'm just gonna trim those so they're even with the rest of my zipper here. So that's what we have when we're done. I'm gonna make sure to melt those edges. You don't want anything fraying on you. All right, so that is my main closure zipper. You can go ahead and add your zipper end cap or zipper tab now if you want to, or wait till the end. I'll probably wait till the end to do that on mine. All right, I'm gonna put those aside and we'll go to the next step. Okay, I forgot to prep our cross body straps, so um, connectors, so I have my two connectors here. I have a piece of Decaville light fused down the middle 
and my center marked with some tape and I'm gonna fold my raw edges into the center on both of these connectors. Okay, she does have the option of you painting your raw edges as well after we do this part. So feel free, if you don't want those raw edges, you can paint them with some edge coat. Um, I probably won't just for sake of time in this video. We're going to sew these an eighth of an inch in on each side. And then we're going to do another row of stitching, another one eighth of an inch in from that row. Okay, so two rows of stitching on each side. And I am just gonna go, uh, what did I do last time? Yeah, I think I did this. So I'm going all the way around at 1 8 of an inch. Okay, so that's the first row of stitching. And now my second row, I'm gonna go down each side an eighth of an inch away from that row that I just did. It just gives your connector a pretty stitching accent to do both those rows of stitching. That is what it looks like when I am all done with my first rows of stitching. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat on the other connector. Do the same exact thing. Okay, so now I have my little um, rivet hole template for my straps. So I'm going to mark out where those holes should be and punch them. So just kind of center this template up in the middle of your strap. And I'm just gonna put marks where my holes need to go for my rivets. Okay, repeat for the next one. And then I'm going to just punch my holes on my strap so I can be done. So that is what one looks like when it's done. All right. Go ahead and repeat for the other one. Okay. So I've got my connectors done. I'm going to set those aside and go to the next step. We're going to work on our double zip pocket on the front. So this piece is going to be the piece that connects to our card slots. Um, what you need to do is cut out this piece of Decaville light that she has the, in the pattern and measure one fourth of an inch in on each side and the top and place that on your piece, okay? And that'll get it nice and centered. Go ahead and adhere that. And then what you wanna do is measure from this edge of the Decaville light out a half of an inch on the sides and the top. And we are going to cut that middle piece out. I've already cut my sides. And so I'm gonna cut this top piece right here. 
So we're cutting that out of our piece, okay? Like that. So this is extra. You can use that for a scrap for something else. All right, so next we want to make a cut diagonal from here to this point here, okay? So I'm gonna snip my fabric. I'm not gonna go right up to the Decaville light, but pretty dang close on each side. And then I wanna take some double-sided tape and we are going to be folding this edge in to here, okay? So I'm gonna put my double-sided tape on the edge of the inside of the piece. All right, so I've got all my double-sided tape on. I'm gonna take the tape off and I'm going to fold those raw edges in. Actually, I think you wanna do the top here first, this top piece first, okay? And you're folding it up against the edge of that Decaville light, okay? As best and evenly as you can. And then take the other side, do the same thing. And the other side, oops. All right, so that is what the inside of our piece looks like. And this is the right side, wrong side. Sorry, not outside, wrong side. Oh, okay. Um, you can also, if you want, glue these edges down. Um, she does it in her video. I'm actually just gonna put some fray check on mine just so they don't fray. And then we're, we are going to be sewing them down pretty much, connecting them to the card slot. So I think it'll be okay, but you just don't want those edges to fray. Okay, so that is the outer part of our card slot. I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, and get my card slots out. Okay, so my card slots are already folded, not folded, are already marked and have my um, one inch by five inch pieces of Decaville light to them. So this is the top of my piece and using the measurements in the pattern, you're gonna measure down and mark, you're gonna measure down and mark you're gonna do five markings, and then you're going to adhere your Decaville piece right underneath those lines, okay? So you should have five pieces of Decaville and five lines. I'm gonna turn that over, and the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna fold at the top of all of those pieces of Decaville light where we marked, and we are going to top stitch our card slot. So just get a good, nice, good fold right above those Decaville light pieces. And I'm going to, going to top stitch along each of those. All right, so that's my first one. Do you see it's right there? And then I'm gonna take it to my next one give it a good fold. You could always um, go to your machine first too. Go to your sewing knife. Oh my gosh. You could always go to your iron and iron them first if you would like. But they seem to crease really nicely where the Decaville is, so it's not really a problem.
Okay, so after you have all of those folds, we are going to do some measuring and some marking. All right, so you wanna measure, this is the top of my piece, you wanna measure a half of an inch down. All right, half of an inch down. And that's gonna be the first placement of your first card slot. And then you're going to measure a half inch down from that. You're gonna do it on each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mark my half inch mark on all of my pieces here, right below where I top stitched here on each one. There's my iron. And the last one here. Okay, let's go to my iron. Okay. So I'm gonna take, this is the top. I measured a half of an inch down. I'm gonna take this piece and meet that half inch line with that first fold and I'm gonna iron. And then I'm gonna repeat with all of, all of these card slots. Look at that. Ooh, those lined up almost perfectly. That looks cool. All right, so I'm gonna take that to my machine and baste it. Okay, I'm gonna baste down each side of these card slots and then we'll separate it in the middle. All right, so now you need to find the center of these card slots and mark your center, and we are going to separate them by sewing. I'm gonna sew up and down them. I'm gonna do two rows of stitching, just so it gives it a little bit extra when you're pulling those cards in and out. All right, here we go. All right, so there are my pretty card slots. Ooh, they look nice, okay? Now you wanna take that piece that we just worked on here and we're going to be attaching it on top of our card slots, all right? So you want to take the top here and measure one eighth of an inch away from your top card slot, okay? So I've got right here, right? Let me double check real quick. Yep, one eighth, so not very big at all. And I'm just marking it across the whole thing so I have a straight line to follow. And then I wanna take this and mark my center on this so I can line up everything right. All right, so I know my center on this, I know my center on these and my placement. So now you wanna put some double-sided tape again I'm just gonna put it on the back of this piece, right on the edge of where I want it to be attached, okay?
If you don't want card slots on this bag, you don't have to do the card slots. You can just do a nice front zipper pocket too. So that's always an option. All right, so I've centered up the top with the center of my card slots. I've got that part on and then I will do these side pieces, get them looking as straight as possible. And then we will top stitch this piece down to our card slots. The way that she has this designed, it is so nice and structured. I really like the design of this front card slot a lot. So I would highly suggest you try it at least once. All right, here we go. I'm gonna to top stitch that piece onto my card slot. Okay, and that is my card slots for the inside front pocket. We are going to start attaching the zipper to our front zipper pocket. So I have my other lining piece for that front pocket and my double zipper closure um, zipper. And I have marked centers on all of my pieces. So all of my centers are marked. You could, if you want, put double-sided tape along the edge of this. I'm gonna try to do it without. Um, I seem to get more frustrated with it than I do without it. <laughs> and if you put enough clips on, it's not really moving anywhere. So I'm just going to clip without any tape. But if you want that extra security, definitely put some double-sided sticky tape on it to help hold it in place. So I'm gonna mark my center first and then I'm gonna come here down to the bottom and clip that on. Just gonna ease this zipper on there. Don't be afraid to twist it and move it where you need it. All right, again, if you wanna use double-sided tape, go for it. Okay, nice and even, there we go. Now starting at the edge here, I'm gonna sew up and around. I like to use a stiletto tool to help hold my zipper in place as I sew, and that is really helpful for me. And we are going to baste it, so we're only doing an eighth of an inch. Or maybe she says three eighths of an inch. So I forget what she says in the pattern. I'm doing about an eighth of an inch. You can go a little bit farther in if you want. Just don't do a full one fourth because that is what your other side is going to be sewn at. So you don't want to um, sew it at that full seam allowance. So anything less than one fourth of an inch is great. And I kind of use my stiletto tool around the corners here to hold my zipper tape in place where I need it. And it really does help.
Move my zipper out of the way real quick. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is take your other front pocket piece, this one right here. We're going to lay it on top, right sides together, and we're gonna sew that onto the piece that we just did, and we're going to use our full seam allowance on this one, okay? And you're just gonna go slow around this corner of the zipper tape to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles and you're not sewing over any bumps. You wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. As I clip it, I try to clip it with my zipper flat in there. Okay. And I am just gonna go this far first because once I get here, I'm gonna move my zippers out of the way and then I'll clip the rest, all right? Gonna move my zippers out of the way. So mine are big and chunky. All right, so I've zipped them over there and now I'm gonna finish clipping on the rest of this. And try and clip around that corner nice and smooth. this up. Okay, so if you want, you can take some scissors and trim up around these corners here, just your vinyl piece. If you're using vinyl, don't trim your zipper. Just this vinyl piece to help with some of the bulk. I'm just gonna do it right here around my curves and I'm just clipping my vinyl, okay? Just trimmed my vinyl a tiny bit. All right, so now we want to fold this right side out. All right, I already have my Decaville light on, but it's totally doable. See, look at this. So if you haven't inserted your Decaville light, you're gonna wanna do that soon. All right, and then you wanna check to see if you have any puckers in your zipper. All right, mine, good. Mine is okay. We didn't get any big puckers. 
All right, now if you have all cotton, you could probably take this to an iron and give it a good press. I'm just doing a good finger press with mine since it is vinyl. And now I'm going to top stitch on this part of my top panel, okay, right by my zipper at an eighth of an inch. And I kind of pull up my pieces and flatten them as I go. Okay, so that is what the front part of your zipper pocket should look like. It's all top stitched, front, back. All right, next step. Grab your card slot piece now and take that front panel we just finished. You're gonna have this right side up and this is right side up. And we are going to baste on this side of the zipper onto our card slot. So I'm going to, so they're both right side up. So I'm gonna start by just matching up my centers and we'll go around. Again, you can use double-sided tape if you want to on this card slot piece to attach the zipper. If you're worried about it, go for it. I think it's a great, great way to do it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sew that on again. You can do a little bit bigger than one eighth of an inch if you want, but just a basting stitch. There we go. All right, so that's the back. It's all attached on there. All right, so our next step, I am doing this version. There's two different versions you can do. You can attach this to the full panel or you can attach this to this type of panel. Um, I'm doing this one. So I'm gonna mark the center of this. All right, and since I want it like this, I'm going to be clipping it on like this way and I'm going to unzip my zipper and kind of tuck that in to get it out of my way to start. All right, so we want to be clipping it and we're gonna clip it down and around like that. It kind of looks odd. 
but trust me, that's the way it needs to go. All right, now we're gonna sew that on at our fourth of an inch seam allowance. Go slow. I'm gonna have to do some readjusting of the zippers halfway through, so just be aware of that. And let's sew this on. And just make sure there's no bumps in your zipper here. You want everything smooth. good I'm just gonna redo this tiny little corner I could feel myself um, not being able to keep a consistent seam allowance right here so I'm just going to do another little row right here at the right seam allowance to make sure I've got that Good deal. All right, so once you have all of that done, you're going to take your pocket, make sure it's all looking good. Yep, so that's what it should look like now. It's a full front panel, that's the back, that's the front. Now I'm going to take this and I am going to top stitch um, along this part of my panel that I just sewed on. Okay, so I'm top stitching through my seam allowance is folded that way.
Okay, look how cool that is. That's my front zipper panel. That looks so cool. So when you zip it up, you should see those card slots, right? There are my card slots. All right, next up, we are going to finish our front panel. So we're gonna put our top zipper pocket on it now. So take your front panel, take your zipper with the zipper tabs that we already prepared, and you're gonna put it on the top of this panel and you're gonna center it up right side down and we're gonna baste that on. And then you're going to grab your zipper pocket, front exterior zipper pocket piece, right side down on top of that. And we're gonna sew that at the full seam allowance onto our zipper. So right sides are together, your zipper is in the middle. Turn that over so it's towards the back. And then we're going to top stitch along the bottom of this zipper. Just kind of pull everything nice and tight and where it should be. There's the front, there's the back. I'm going to take my top panel piece. Actually, no, we'll take our zipper piece first and we're gonna put it right sides together against the back. And we're going to be basting that onto the top of this zipper pocket. All right, so the top of the zipper lines up with this back side of the zipper pocket. It's right side up. We're just gonna baste that onto the top. And then we'll add our top piece. Now I wanna take my top piece face down on top of that top edge of the zipper and we're going to sew that on at the full seam allowance. And then I'm going to flip that up just like that and we'll top stitch it along the top. Okay, and our seam allowance is going towards the top panel. That's what the front of my bag looks like. Oops, let's cut those strings off. And that's what the back of my bag. So now we need to close up this pocket. You will have um, a little bit extra there and that's fine. We're gonna sew up the bottom of it and then we will baste the sides of the pocket to the sides of the bag. 
and that will close up the side of the bag or the side of the pocket. All right, so, and then you can trim off that extra here. And then I'm going to clip it to the sides of my bag and I will baste that on. And that'll close it all up. Oh, I ran out of bobbin. All right, refilled my bobbin. Okay, that is the front of my bag all complete. I will put, I like to put my nameplate right here on the front. Um, and then we will, let's continue to the next part. We're gonna work on the back of our bag now. Um, I am using smaller snaps, 14 millimeter snaps. So I don't have to wait till it's all put together to add them. They won't be in the way of my stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and fully put my snaps on now, but if you are using bigger snaps, you might want to wait until these pieces are fully together. So the placements are on the pattern pieces for your snaps, and I'm going to just go ahead and add mine. Put that in the middle, mark out my prongs, and then put my snap in and then just make sure you protect it. I don't really need to put anything under it because I do have some Decaville light on these pieces, but I will protect over the top. Just get some duct tape or some larger double-sided tape and, or you could use interfacing and fuse that over the back of your prongs. And that is one, and then I will add the other. I'm gonna take my bigger back piece and my back slip pocket piece, and I am going to flip those down, actually like this. I want this to be on the lower part of it, right? Yes, right sides together, and I'm going to stitch those together at my seam allowance. And then I'm going to top stitch that down. 
and I'm top stitching on the lining piece and my seam allowance is going down towards the lining. Oops, my thread just broke. And then get your other back slip pocket piece and the other top piece and you're gonna put those right sides together and do the same thing. Okay, so once you have those two sewn together, you're going to take the back panel and you're gonna piece it together with this smaller one here at the top. And sew that on. All right, and then you're gonna turn those right sides out and you want to top stitch along this top seam. I have to clip mine because it's a little, little thick. So now that should clip together with this other piece that we did. And your pocket is going to be a little bit shorter than this piece. So that is how it should be because you're trying to keep this out of your seam allowance down here. So this is right. So go ahead and sew that bottom together and close up that pocket. Oh, I should have made sure this was straight. Hopefully it is. It looks pretty straight. All right, and then now I'm going to base down each side to attach it all together. on this side. All right, and that is your back slip pocket. Looks good, it looks good. All right, let's move on. We're gonna work on our slip pockets for the inside of the bag. So you're going to take your slip pocket pieces, they should be taller than they are wide, and we're gonna fold them right sides together. And then we're just going to sew down the two sides of the pocket, okay? We're just closing up the sides, we're leaving this top completely open, all right? And I think we sew this out of 3 8 inch seam allowance. So it's a little bit bigger than what we have been doing on our pieces. So pay attention to that. All right, do that for both. All right, so I'm gonna turn these right side out and I'm gonna give them a really good press. I'm also going to just trim down 
my seam allowances, especially up by the corners, just right up here. All right, and then turn those out. All right, I'm gonna get all those corners pushed out really good and take it to my iron and just iron these flat and then we'll go to the next step. I have these pressed all nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just baste the top of these closed. So that's my open edge. I'm just gonna baste it closed real quick. It just helps with putting on the top trim piece if it's already closed up. All right, so I have my trim pieces here. I have my middle line marked and a piece of double-sided tape down them. And I am going to fold this over my raw edge up here and I place it just below that middle line. Okay. Actually, maybe just a little bit more up. Just try and get it as even as possible on there. And then I'll clip it into place and then I will sew that on with a top stitch. I'm probably going to do two top stitches. I'll do one about a fourth of an inch away from this edge and then one at one eighth of an inch just to make sure that I get both sides of it and it just looks nice. Okay, and I'll do one more. All right, and your edges of this trim will be just a little bit longer than the pocket, so you can trim those down as well, just so they're flush with the pocket. And that's it, that's your slip pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the middle line of my pocket. Now on my other bag, I did one, one pocket divided right down the middle and the other pocket one side was a little bit bigger than the other, and I did that on purpose, so you have different size of pockets. Um, so it's up to you, really, what you wanna do. So there's my center one. I'll go ahead and mark this one. I'll, and this like kind of makes a better pocket for like a pen on this side and maybe a phone on this side. That's why I did this one just a little bit differently. Okay. So go ahead and repeat for the second pocket. All right, I wanna get my lining pieces and detach those. So here's my lining. Measurements are in the pattern, how far down to place your pockets. And I think on, yeah, that's good. And then I'm gonna mark this one.
I'm just gonna find my center with a crease. And find my center with another crease here. If you wanna measure exactly, you can do that, but I think that looks good. All right. So I'm gonna sew down and around and divide the pockets as I go. Okay, that's my first one. See, I made this one just a little bit smaller so you could put like a pen or something in there and the side's bigger. All right, go ahead and add that to your other, your next one to your other lining here. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my zipper pocket. I didn't do the, the zipper stay um, that she has in this bag, so if you wanted to add a zipper stay on the back, you can totally do that. I just, I didn't do that. All right, so let me mark out my zipper. I usually just measure an inch down and then a half an inch for my my zipper and then an inch in on each side. All right, take one of these pieces. Get my center. Right there, make sure it's even. Okay, we're gonna fold or fold. We're gonna sew over that rectangle. We're gonna sew around it and then cut it out. rectangle here. Turn that through. I'm gonna take that to my iron and I am going to iron that zipper piece back and then we'll add the zipper in. 
Okay, so I have that nice and pressed to the back. I've got my zipper right here, some double-sided tape top and bottom. I'm gonna take off the bottom piece first and add that. I want my zipper going from left to right, so make sure that that is the case. And center that up in there. And I line up my bottom first here. And then I'll flip this up and take off the tape on the top. Okay, I'll go ahead and sew around that. All right, so now I wanna take the back piece of my pocket and I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna sew it along the top first and then I'm gonna fold up the two bottom edges because we will be leaving the zipper pocket open for pulling our bag through at the end. So before I go any farther, I'm going to take this to my iron real quick and just iron up the bottom of my pocket like that before I sew it. Um, so it'll be easier to stitch closed at the end. Okay, so I press that up. I'm going to go ahead and close the sides of my pocket. I'm going to just trim this top piece right here so it's not in my seam allowance. I don't want that catching when I sew it up. And I'll melt my edges here. Your zipper tape. Just try and get in there the best you can. All right, there's my lining pieces. We are now going to add the main zipper closure onto all of our pieces. So get your front exterior piece, mark an inch in on both sides. I did that to my front and my back exterior piece. And then get your main closure zipper. I'm gonna go right sides together. So my zipper is right side with my exterior and I'm gonna start clipping it at that one inch mark and I'm just going to clip it down. And then when you get to these, this last one inch mark over here, that's where you taper the zipper off of your bag because we're not sewing it all the way to the end. 
All right, so I'm just going to baste this part on first and then we'll add the lining to it. Oh, I just did the exact opposite of what I said. Don't do that. It's okay. If you sew it all the way down, just unstitch. I get, I got caught up in my thoughts. I was thinking about something else. That's how it goes. All right. <laughs> Easy to fix though, right? Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, base this and then taper it off at that one inch mark. There we go. Easy fix. Now what I like to do is completely take my zipper apart for this um, assembly. It just makes it easier. So I'm taking my zipper off. As long as you can put it on correctly, then you are good to go. Just make sure that this zipper is being added on the right side when you go. So I know it's gonna go on this side right here. So I'm just gonna clip that there for right now until I get to it. All right, so take your lining piece that you want with this one. I just want the one with my slip pocket. Face it, put it right sides together, and we are going to sew that on at our 1 4th inch seam allowance. All the way down. Okay, so once you have that sewn on, you're going to fold your lining out of the way and we are just going to top stitch onto our exterior and our seam allowance. So you want your seam allowance going down towards your exterior and we are gonna top stitch on that part. All right, looks good. So that is what you should have. Your front, your back. All right, set that aside. Grab your back side of the bag. So like I said, your zipper's now starting at this side, right? Right side down. You can either have your zipper fully together or unzip it like I did. All right. Sorry about the iron BP and it's a new iron and it shuts off way too quickly. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna start basting at that one eighth of an inch, or not one eighth, at that one inch mark and then baste the rest of the zipper on. And you're just repeating what you did on the other side. Okay, so once you have those together, I'm going to clip my zipper in on itself here on both of my pieces because you want the zipper not to get caught in your end seam allowance here, okay? We're gonna put both pieces together, right side to right side, lining to lining, and we're gonna start clipping this. Okay, so I want to start 
um, at the very top seams here where my zipper is and make sure that is lined up first. That's the most important seam to line up. All right, get that all lined up first. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the rest. I'm gonna make sure this zipper is zipped up out of the way. I don't wanna get those pulls in the way. There we go. And then I'm gonna clip my exterior together. Okay, so I have my exterior all clipped. My um, pocket, my front pocket side was a little bit longer than my back for some reason. I don't know if I measured out something wrong, but I just trimmed it up. I think that happened on my other one too. So we're going to sew the bottom of this bag first at a 1 fourth inch seam allowance. Might need a little help getting over where that zipper part is on the front of your bag. Put something under your foot to help it over. All right, so go ahead and clip the rest of it together. So if you're doing the envelope style bottom, go ahead and do it like she has in her pattern. But I can't show you because I had to trim off too much for some reason. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together. Um, I'm gonna do a bigger seam allowance along my lining than I do my exterior. So um, just be aware of that. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna do a little bit different of a bottom on this. I'm just going to copy the way I do it on the top. All right, here we go. All right, and then go to that bigger seam allowance, okay? You can go all the way to a half of an inch. Okay, so because I messed up my envelope box corners, I'm just going to do, or my, yeah, my envelope corners. I'm just going to flatten them and box them this way. Hopefully it still looks good. Just make sure you line them up at the crease here. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna flatten my corners and sew at that one inch line mark that I had marked for that envelope corner and I'm gonna sew along that.
All right, so go ahead and do the same thing on these lining corners, but you're gonna measure a little bit bigger. You can measure about one and a fourth down. All right, so fingers crossed, let's pull this through. All right, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna put all the bag together here and let's see what we have. I think my bottom corners turned out okay. They're just more of just a regular boxed bottom. This side lined up better than this side because I couldn't get that envelope in. Um, I think it still turned out pretty cute. It is okay, look at that. Okay, so all we need to do is close up our pocket and then we're going to add our side connectors. Okay, I'm just closing up my zippered pocket. that in our bag. Okay, so now we need to put on our side connectors here. I got my three-fourths inch D-rings there. I'm going to take some double-sided tape along the back and put it on the back of these. Don't want it sticking out the front there. Okay. I want to mark the middle of this so I know where my middle is. Just using a little bit of a chalk pen there. And I want to line that middle part up with my seam. Okay. So what I'm going to do first I want it about a fourth of an inch down from my top seam of my bag, about right there. And that is my placement. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark my first holes. Okay. Those are the holes that I want on it. So I'm gonna take it. Make sure your lining is pushed in there where it needs to be and it's not sticking up at all. And then go ahead and punch your holes.
Okay, and I've got my rivets here. All right, I'm gonna do one side first and then slip my D-ring through and add the other side. So put those through the holes that you made. Oh, I didn't take my double-sided tape off, huh? Take your tape off if you want. I'm gonna stick this on with my rivet press first. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my D-ring through and then I'll add the other two. Don't forget to add your D-ring. <laughs> If you get this on without a D-ring, then <laughs> that would not be good, guys. Come on, I didn't punch through all the layers. Looks like, okay. Just a second. Okay, there we go. All right, and then add those. Yay! And there is your side connector. Okay, go ahead and repeat for this other side. And we need to slide back on our um, zipper pole, and I will put a zipper end cap on it and we are done what is our bag Woo, look at that cute okay that's our kaylee crossbody all done i put on the other connector i put on my zipper end cap and my cross body strap and we are all done yay thank you for watching this video let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below i would love to try and answer them all please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next time